Good job. It's a tricky step. Welcome back. Um, my name is Christy Bowers. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Grape.ag. So I have a question. Who here likes wine better than coffee? Yes, me oh, too. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> oh, that was mean. OK. But OK, mm. we'll just stick with wine. So growing grapes to make wine uh, is not as simple as you would think, especially with new pressures around weather, disease, insects. Grape.ag has a solution to help farmers farm smarter so that they can grow grapes better, and make the wine that we all like to drink. So there's some big challenges in, for growers uh, that keep them up at night. Um, there are extreme effects uh, and uncertainties around climate change that is not news to anybody in the room. Um, seasons are drastically changing. Growers are feeling it in the vineyards as well as at their bottom line. Um, we are supplying, the growers need more specific data uh, from their vineyard so that they could get provided smart analytics and insights to make better decisions, to create better yield and quality. Um, not so much in this region, but in other regions, water is the new gold. So that's another pressure that, that grape growers are feeling. The only solution to some of these pressures are more information through technology. How do I know this? My family has a small vineyard um, in California. We've been doing this for over 30 years, and we feel these pressures personally. My co-founder, Martin, uh, is a phenomenal engineer, and he is passionate about solving problems uh, through technology. We're also joined by an awesome team, uh, a talented and diverse team, both in the US and Mexico. Uh, and we're all passionate about building trust and adding value for our customers. Our team's developed a tool to provide grape growers with hyper-local, microclimate actionable insights. We take multiple data sources and, use, and smart algorithms and provide this information back to growers in an easy to read, um, on-demand, fingertip manner. Make sure I have the right slide, sorry. Um, so how does the innovation happen? Uh, we use satellite and physical sensors to collect all of this information. We measure things like temperature, humidity, air, soil, and the air and soil, plant health um, and outputs and water pressures. And we distill all of this in something called the grape.ag engine. Um, we do use some machine learning and some AI to create these, these new insights for our, for our customers. Um, it helps them to make more efficient decisions around their yield, their quality, their cost, their sustainability. We have customers who tell us that these tools are essential to any grower. We add value to customers by making the complicated simple. We present all of this information back to them in a simple and easy to use app. We also have a web dashboard uh, we provide annual and monthly reports. Uh, we have notifications and alerts that can be received via text, um, email, or uh, a phone call, in fact. While in the region in early October, uh, we had the privilege to meet with Fox Run Vineyards. They immediately saw the value in our application and installed it the next day. Uh, they're interested in detailed information and, and multiple sources of their information specifically from their vineyard so that they can make better and faster decisions and optimize their cost and yield. They told us that what our application could do for them is make complicated information simple and easy for them so they can make better decisions. We also visited Forge Cellars um, on Seneca Lake. And Rick, the owner there, told us he wants more information around powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is a mildew that will decimate your yields. Um, if you do not mitigate, no prop. So he also has uh, our, our system that he now has in place. Um, it, um, it will give him that sort of alert so that he'll know how to mitigate the, the powdery mildew pressures in his field. 
He also has locations in France. He also manages eight vineyards in the region. So he can check all of his information uh, at any time in the morning before his feet hit the ground. He told us it's not just a nice to have, but a necessary to have, especially in challenging growing environments. Sorry. Um, so we can work with small vineyards as well as large vineyards. Um, it's a very scalable product. Um, Bronco Wine Company is the sixth largest producer of wine uh, in the country. And we're working with them on a mildew and water uh, water project. For the mildew product project alone, they told us if we could save them two passes in the vineyard, that they'd install it in the entire 40,000 acres because that this pressure is that important to them. We've also talked to a large wine grower here in, in the region, and they told us that they're trying to find locations and varietal fits our information can help them find those fits. We spoke with uh, the New York Wine and Grape Foundation. They told us that Concord grapes are an important crop in this region, um, and our application can help Concord grape growers uh, just as uh, find good efficiencies and insights just as we do for wine grape growers. So um, we have been privileged to experience the multiplier effect of the Grow New York ecosystem. Um, we are working on partnerships and building the network here in the region. We're already negotiating with a hardware manufacturer to build some of our IoT sensors. Um, we have a, um, an a NDA with a Rochester technology company that's helping us look into um, other, other software uh, features. We're establishing an East Coast headquarters here uh, we, uh, with, with help from Cornell Agritech and the Center of Excellence, and looking at research um, with Cornell and NUA. And yes, uh, we're also looking at other crops, as you can imagine, and uh, we are in earnest looking at apples, <laughs> um, because we know that apples have some of the similar pressures uh, in the growing region as grapes. And we can offer them those same insights uh, as we do for grape growers. If you remember one thing from, from this discussion today, remember meaningful, actionable insights. The idea of distilling and collecting different data sources and putting them into a recommendation or a, a notification for growers that they can act upon that helps their bottom line or makes their, their operation more efficient is the entire goal of our product. So far, we've been talking about environmental data mostly, but there are other data pools that go into the grape.ag engine. Um, we consider farming activities as well as plant performance, and we're trying to find those sweet spots using machine learning and, and algorithms and some AI um, so that we can give that back to the farmer in a meaningful way. Uh, the more information that we can put into the grape.ag engine, the more efficient it becomes and the more powerful it is for our, for our customers. Agriculture is a collaborative environment uh, for all of us that are involved with it, and so this, we, we're no different. Um, we have partnerships with two other companies, uh, an autonomous tractor technology as well as a freeze indicator company. Um, we also talk to, continuously talk to our customers uh, to make sure that we are meeting them uh, where they are and, and providing them with information that's meaningful to their operations. So we're looking at things like computer vision. We talked about water flow sensors as well as particle sensors. Um, even on the East Coast, you get Canadian fires here, I hear. So, um, and I discussed, we have some additional crops that uh, we're investing in. Uh, we will leverage um, our technology first and open up our, first, our second crop here from New York in apples. Sorry. So our business model is a SaaS. Um, yes, we have IoT, but we don't necessarily sell each product. We include all of that in our subscription because when we've talked to customers, they tell us, we don't want to have to worry about which sensor we need to buy or how much it costs or which features it has. So we have rolled that into our subscription uh, model. We've made it. Uh, 
meaningfully affordable to growers um, and so that they can continue to increase their yields, better their quality, uh, focus on their operations and their efficiency and become more sustainable. Uh, we have a financial projection of making $12 million in three years um, and also meaningfully, meaningful growth, job growth both here in the region and for the company. As I mentioned uh, on our trip here, we, we are already in New York. Uh, with, we have three customers here that we're very, very proud of. Um, and we plan, um, sorry, um, excuse me one second, sorry. Uh, we plan um, to open up a uh, sales and support operation here within the region. We have a robust customer pipeline and strategy uh, that we will leverage from the region, not only for New York, but also for uh, Canada, the local region here.